previously on speedrunning grey hair growth, I decided that I wanted to try beat eldering and using fist type weapons. And it was a lot of fun, so I wanted to try, see what other stuff I could come up with. I had some really good ideas and I've been working on them, but there was one idea that stood out from the rest and I really wanted to just give it a try. It's not incredibly creative, it's actually a very synonymous run or playthrough that you can do in the Soul series. But before I reveal what we're doing and the rules and what we're going to be following and all that, I need to make my character and who better than fucking Chad Tanjiro. What the hell? And now it's time for the obligatory rule segment. So the run we're going to be doing this time around is a Soul Level 1 run. Also known as RL1, Rune Level 1, um, BL1, Blood Level 1, Sekiro... Like, <laughs> I don't even know, man. So, three levels is what we kind of need to go over first, which is um, levels in certain stats that you can get for free, and these are obtainable from talismans, armor you wear, stuff like that. I am allowing them, specifically one for the most part, which uh, <laughs> I wonder if you can guess what that one. We basically just need them so we can equip more than, like, two weapons in the whole game, and we need to be able to scale our damage a little bit better during the late game. Another thing is great runes. Obviously, great runes, Godric, is really good it can give you plus five in uh, all your stats personally i didn't really use them i mean i did use them but i had so little that it never actually won me an attempt at a boss fight so i think they're still pretty chill if you want to use them or not i mean i really want this to just be a simple guide on the easiest you can make this for yourself while it's still being um, an actual challenge and to be honest the great rune stat increases aren't going to be used for stuff like hb or anything like that it's purely would be for increasing your damage because my god do we do no damage another thing is spirit summons obviously i ain't no bitch so i ain't using no spirit summons but i did think it was kind of funny that if you were going to use a spirit summon as long as it was level one who really cares and um for co-op uh, npc spawns we do have an exception here because i actually had to use one and i wonder if you can i wonder if you as a viewer can guess what boss i had to use my npc summon on other than that this is pretty self-explanatory um so to make this quite straightforward we're just going to be beating the game and not doing like a all shard bearers run or anything because as much as that would be cool that would just take a obscene amount of time that i don't want to spend because honestly by the end of this i was fucking i can't even you know, but we do take you on a little bit of a detour near the end to uh, prove my game of prestige. So, you know, I might want to stay tuned for that one. But obviously, we've got one important question straight away as soon as we start the game. So, it's, it's, what is that? Well, we're going to fucking let Chad Tanjiro um, you know, take over from here. offer you an accord. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength.
हाँ
What the f <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, it's director's commentary part. I'm just gonna talk over um, the actual fight and the Radan fight, which is a little bit weird to put here, but I did go back to fight Radan because I needed some runes to buy smithing stones to upgrade some of the uh, weapons that I tried. So. And killing Radan will actually be incredibly important later on in the video as well, so I would take the time now to do it because we're really over leveled for it, so it really won't be a problem. As you obviously guessed from the start, I had to use an NPC summon to kill the Godskin Doer. In fact, a lot of underhand tactics went into bringing these guys down. And I think it can kind of come off shortcutty and um, cheap to kill them this way. I kind of just stopped and realized this boss in no way warrants the amount of time it would take for me to beat it without the summon. Just can't really be asked. This boss just is actually dog shit so you know i don't want to ramble on too long but i thought it was important to kind of explain why i mean as i said in the beginning i kind of want this to be a guide of how to pull off rune level one with the easiest way possible without like complete bullshit strats and i think it's fair to include that npc summons are a great tool and when you're doing a run that's really difficult there's some things that you just don't click and the godskin duo and the utter fucking rng bullshit that that boss feels like is definitely one of those times if you are going to attempt this solo however and do what i could first of all i would like to say that i don't even just don't do it but if you are i can give you some tips and kind of just a rundown of what has changed in the build in general first ditch all defensive items because we've reached the threshold where the damage that we can negate isn't enough to stop us from dying to one hit. It is important to note that the opaline crystal tier, whatever it's called, will give us one extra hit and this is something that I change out later on but if you're struggling with a boss it's definitely good to put it on especially if you're just trying to learn um, the attack pattern. Eventually you can swap it out for something that will boost your damage because again our damage is just really quite low at the moment. So getting rid of the defensive items, we're going to want to replace them with offensive items. Stuff like the blue dancer charm is going to be great and basically you're just going to want to minimize how much you're wearing. So best case scenario, no clothes and just your sword or whatever weapon you use. And for this boss, I obviously used black bow with sleeper arrows which are kind of substituting for the sleeping pots as well as sleeper arrows when i ran out and in the actual fight that i managed to beat the duo with i was actually just using regular arrows and playing like an absolute bitch and just sniping from across the room so that's all i've really got to say about this boss i just really it just sucks and there's nothing <laughs> i can do about it but yeah
Guys, I gotta be real with you. I've been banging my fucking head against the wall trying to kill this boss. I've tried changing from bleed to frost. I've tried parrying. I've tried the serpent slayer great spear, whatever the fuck it's called. I've tried golden vow with the Maricasaur seal. I feel like I've literally tried everything. This boss is difficult, don't get me wrong, but it's just the lack of damage. It takes like 20 minutes to do the first phase, even with bleed buildup. And since you have to play a lot more passive as to just not get one shot, it makes it so it's a lot harder to build up that bleed that would make it go a lot faster. I have, I have really no idea what to do. And then it kind of hit me. It was so obvious when I really think about it. In fact, it was the first bit of advice I remember when I started playing the Souls games walls and stuff. A broadsword! I'm way more hyped for a broadsword than I am for this giant thing, seriously. Definitely see scaling and strength. You could... You could go through the game with a broadsword, for sure. Yep, that's right. The fucking broadsword. This is still too difficult, I don't know. I think I might just give up to be honest. Who joined? Come on Joe, you can do it! Just pick up Gert! Do it for Gert! Don't really know where the fuck he came from, but he makes a pretty good point.
That's another Gert Dub added to the collection. This challenge was pretty fun, but I'd say it was more painful than it was enjoyable most of the time. I will say swapping to the broadsword made it like a thousand times easier. And if I were doing it again, which I definitely will not be doing, I would definitely take the broadsword earlier. So if you're struggling with using the katana, then I would swap out the broadsword. Other than that, as I said previously, uh, in the description will be a video of just only the fights with no edits or commentary if you want to watch them and, and try pick up some tips from what I do and just how I play it if you are gonna try attempt this. But that's all I got for you guys this time, so I'll see you on the next one. That's what I'm saying. What? Hell, 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 hell. Alright. What? <laughs> Lights, camera, action. Wait, is it actually action now? Oh shit. Um, wow, suddenly I feel stage fright. <clears throat> um, wait, what was I saying again? Oh my gosh, you're actually missing brains. Come on, Joe! Don't talk over me! <laughs>